like what's the issue and she goes she has not seen her period that actually it's not for that one that belongs to somebody else i haven't even dipped <laughs> the stick hadn't even gone in properly when two sharp red lines came up and i'm like what the that's the one i just said you guys about who we on the toilet floor when we ran test test came back pregnant like <sighs> but if i if any money enters my hand i would just dash her dash her apart from salary she was collecting by evening she comes to tell me that she wants to have an abortion it's just to make them feel very comfortable and stable nothing you will do is going to ever be good enough just bear that at the back of your mind i don't care what people eh, people they made they come they go i don't care for that that's your opinion keep it to yourself i think they look great i think they look fabulous <laughs> and i'm like okay hold up i'm not really understanding what is going on like please make it make sense Prepping breakfast for the family, spaghetti. This chicken broth. This is chicken, some frozen spaghetti I want to add to it, and this is the pasta water. Abracadabra. Hey guys, this is my setup. I'm about to film a little video, hair video, and this is what my setup looks like. This is my own makeup studio for now. <laughs> stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. welcome back to the channel it's your girl bros how are you guys doing so today you guys will come with me i want to fix my nails because i got my hair did yesterday or done you guys like it let me know what you think in the comment section this is what the hair i just got tired of carrying my natural hair looking all yeah. So I'm about to fix my nails while we chit chat. All right. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? I just want to look nice in this video. So let me get some red lippy going on. So look. One second. So like I said earlier this video i'm just gonna be gisting and doing my nails so first of all i have this they are actually plain nails just like this and i intended to put either red or this color like i don't know if you guys know in this channel my favorite color is red <laughs> but i think i do red ever so often so maybe i should try this out today this is nude ish so let me see how it goes so it like i said either i fix this or i love these blue ones i've done this one before doing red color and it came out really nice i think let's go with this so my fellow nigerians <laughs> are you guys coping with this terrible economy i hope you guys are doing okay the Lord is our strength. We will all be fine at the end of the day. God's got us. So all I need for this, these are stick-ons. So I just need my nails and super glue. 
so mom is in the house how are you guys coping so for me i've been having a very hard time lately with helps i said i was going to talk about my experience in the last year here so here goes so sometime in january that's early this year a help was brought for me a domestic help and those of you who use domestic helps you will know that it's a hassle even trying to get a good one getting a good one at all at all these are really long i can't carry this i'm attending to kids So like I said, getting a good help at all, that first of all will come and know what they are doing. That is issue number one. They hardly know what to do. The majority of them are fresh off the village. Like the recent experience I had, you know, the girl literally leaves the toilet. She was giving a toilet just to herself, you know. She will leave the toilet and then we on the floor. Yes, she will we on the floor. So they are fresh of the village, they don't know what to do. No matter how much, the truth of the matter is, I'm a firm believer in if you want to get a help, be specific with your wants. Do you understand? So I know of certain people who wants helps that don't know what to do like it they are like a tabla rasa you know so they are literally taught everything right from scratch you know because they feel that way they get to learn things exactly the way they want to do things or exactly their own way there's nothing wrong with that but with that comes another problem as well and the problem is that you know when they finish learning things according to the way of life of this particular person it might be very hard for them to adapt in another place that's one scenario another scenario is that another problem is that many of them don't want in short the majority of them, that's even the majority of the majority of them don't want to be told what to do. I don't know if you've had any different experience. Kindly share your experience in the comment section so that we can learn from each other. Because I've really not have had the, a very pleasant experience when dealing with these people, you know. It doesn't matter what you do for them. I don't treat my help like help so i treat them like family that's even a problem because i've had you know friends tell me that when you treat them like family that's when they misbehave the most and the people that they end up staying with you know the longest are people who don't even treat them with regard or people who treat them like trash but i feel they are human beings although it's so unfortunate that the treatments or the way you see them and the way you treat them, they don't even see themselves or deserving of, I don't know if I'm making any sense, they don't really see themselves as deserving of that particular um, kindness or goodness that you show to them. Let's see how this color goes on this one. I love it. What do you guys think? I really like it. It's nude-ish. It's not really my style, but I think I like it. I like the length, but the problem is, am I going to be able to work with it? Because I'm taking care of kids. But let's see how it goes. The, the experience I have had is that we keep meeting the bad ones, in quotes. The ones that end up being good, when they come, they always have one problem or the other. Either their test results come out and they are hepatitis, they have hepatitis B, or they are pregnant, or they are HIV positive. Because you always we always run tests 
you know for them so guys i'm done fixing it's time to cut it off and paint this one is still drying then i'll get back i noticed that talking i'm not so good at multitasking so as i'm talking is distracting me a lot so let me just do this quickly and i'll be right back <laughs> i'm finally done how do they look you guys should let me know what you think i think they look great i think they look fabulous <laughs> but that's just my opinion so guys let me know what you think all right i think i really love them i just did it like this let me see if i can carry them like this but i noticed the nails are not particularly very strong that's the texture of the nails so if i notice they start breaking from chores or anything i'm going to reduce the length but for now i love long nails don't worry for now i let me see how what i can do with this i'm just waiting for them to dry guys so back to our discussion now in january someone was brought for me you know and um she was perfect she was nice she was hands on you know she had the experience she would ask you questions like was she going to be in charge of picking up the kids from school and all that and um, when someone asks those kind of questions you know you know the person has had some serious responsibilities before she worked in lagos before and she was very good though i won't even lie she was very good now for someone down three months but when she came she let us know she was supposed to go and um, get engaged like meet her husband to be people or something so we expected that in three months that's a tank around me she might be leaving i know these people once they leave to go and do whatever it is that they go to do they hardly ever really come back to work so we had already made up our mind that she would just give us like three months of her time I felt somehow about it because she was really good so i felt like i was going to miss her when she left but i was okay to accept the three months my husband was even skeptical to take her you know because of that but i was like let's take her so fast forward down the line that was sometime around april or so i noticed one day she was just looking like she's really worried you know with her hands on her head or something she was feeding my daughter and I'm asking her like what's the issue what's the issue and she goes did your boy they're just jokingly did your boy your husband to be say he's not doing again she said no it has nothing to do with him I'm like what's the issue and she goes she has not seen her period and because of this the way i know this person she's a very good person she's a really good person okay so i didn't even but of course pregnancy cannot even be part of the equation so i'm like okay maybe it's a hormonal issue when last this year period she said in january that was before she started working with us and all that i said okay so where um i asked some questions so i said okay to be home now i'll get her i don't know the ebos in the house we know of this ajun bc so i said i was going to get her that ajun bc you know to take but on second thought i said even if we go to a hospital yes it could be hormonal but even if we go to a hospital it's always best to rule out pregnancy you know before treating anything hormonal so i had some test strips in the house and i brought out one asked her to urinate and bring it i haven't even dipped <laughs> the stick hadn't even gone in properly when two sharp red lines came up and i'm like what the it showed my heart stayed beating do you understand because the reason i got so well so the, the main sorry a call came in and interrupted that so the main reason why my heart was beating you know was because um i was like this girl who happened to be perfect who found a good one she's going to be leaving if i tell you guys my story with me like i go and i'm not ashamed to change them i don't care what people and eh, people they made they come they go i don't care for that that's your opinion keep it to yourself you understand but i feel that if you're going to walk you say you came to walk do your work well because the truth of the matter actually is that these work i can do them but my husband feels that work is too much and that i should have help you understand so 
if not because of my husband i really would not have help we've argued about we've had like even serious quarrels about it you know i feel i will handle what i can handle help me a little bit around the house but he's like you know he's going out by the time he finish working and all that he's tired so let him get someone who could help me and like no it is you that i want to help me you help me i don't want the mates and all that so it's always you know so because of him that's why we use mates so i have gone through a lot of mates so when i say i know how hard it is to find someone that is good trust me i know how hard it is and this is coming from a place whereby you know the moment they come in the door i'm buying them stuff i'm giving them things i'm dashing them a lot of things just to make them feel very comfortable and stable nothing you will do is going to ever be good enough just bear that at the back of your mind anyway now my heart starts beating i'm like oh my goodness what the freaking hell is this but i wasn't really worried because i knew she had someone she was supposed to get married to and all that i just keep losing my trail of thoughts something keeps interrupting my video and okay i don't know what i said last but um anyway i wasn't so bothered you know i said i knew she was supposed to get married you know it maybe belong to the guy so i just knew that at some point the guy would request that she should come over and they would just hasten so instead of her to get married in december they would hasten things and get married faster you know and then by evening she comes to tell me that she wants to have an abortion and i'm like okay hold up i'm not really understanding what is going on like please make it make sense is it that you don't have you don't love this guy because why would you be pregnant for the person that you're supposed to get married to she said the, the reason you're pregnant for a person you're supposed to get married to and you want to remove the child i don't get it you know and she said she kept quiet for a while she said the parents were going to be upset with her blah 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 i was like they're not thinking you you're an adult you're an adult the mistake has been made you understand and the person is taking responsibility for it it's not like you're just getting pregnant for someone by the wayside you know the, you know get with her no talk i just noticed that her mind was made up it, does, it didn't matter what i was saying she couldn't even care less you know when someone a very made up mind and you're just wasting your saliva talking to so that kind of scenario so i'm like okay um whatever you want to do i won't come i won't question it i won't but you can't do that in my house you understand so she said okay no problem so but the next day as things will happen she now opened up to me the reason why she was getting removed because i was telling her that when you are done removing this thing or whatever and you're taking care of pregnancy please make sure that you leave that person you're about to get married to because it's clear that you do not have love for him you understand for you to want to you know remove his child and everything and you you know that was when she now opened up to me that actually it's not for that one that belongs to somebody else and i'm like what the do you understand like if you say you need to see this girl she looks so decent so she's a christian girl she looks so to say i was disappointed doesn't even begin to cut it to say i was shocked you know i was really disappointed i was very shocked you know anyway now your life now it's a bit you won't do she ended up leaving the house that she wanted to go and take care of it and everything so um we started calling her you know just to make sure she was okay check on her and all that she stopped picking calls so at some point then i even became scared did she you know met me in the process or you know i was actually worried i'll send whatsapp messages it will be read almost immediately i sent but nobody will reply i got very upset and i ended up blocking her or like whatever then i even packed her things and then said once she comes i'll ask the kids man to come and get them so that she can just go her merry way that was high about one week down the line she came knelt down begging she tried to do an abortion the thing didn't work and all that so she has come back to beg that she wants to see if she can you know keep the pregnancy we should please allow her to work for us because she might really not be able to get any job anywhere else they always test for pregnancy if it's household chores so if we can allow her to work with us and then for like three months so that by july she will be gone you know she would go by august i think she said july ending or so july ending yes july ending anyway for me i didn't want my husband said we should let her so i said okay no problem since she has been nice with her job we should just take mercy on her so we kept her i made sure that that period a call came in and interrupted me yet again 
I can't remember where I was. Anyway, so um, that was what happened and all that. After begging and everything, I did everything I could, you know, to make sure that I made that period I was very broke. But if I if any money enters my hand, I would just dash her. Dash her. Apart from salary she was collecting, dash her 10000 We put her name in for a grant. So she got a grant, you know, of about 50000 I was just trying to make sure that she had as much money because I really felt for her. Do you know what taking care of a child in this economy is without really having a job? Because when she give birth to that child, she wouldn't be able to work. So I, I get this guy the advice. I say, travel home and go and meet your family. So you have family support. Let them be able to help you and everything. You get no answer, Samuel. She told me, yes, she would and everything. But at the long long run, at the end of the day, she didn't, you know. So when we're done with that experience, by the time it was her time to go, she she left when she was supposed to at the end of July. And I said, after that, I've had a very bad experience with one before. That one actually did an abortion and then came to my house to literally die in my house so she was suffering from sepsis and she was dying we didn't notice i just noticed she looked at machete and all that we ran tests all her tests were very okay she was not pregnant and everything she had done an abortion like one month or thereabouts according to the story she told before she came to my house so that's how i took her to the hospital we spent about 90 imagine someone just starting to work with us and we spent about ninety thousand naira trying to treat sepsis she was on admission for about five days even the doctor was trying to advise that we should send her away the doctor was telling us why don't we it's not better we send her away she was barely she was barely two days old with us but like i said when we see helps that are good we don't joke with them we don't let them go like that because this girl came she was really very good she was very good with her work forget she was very very good but the only problem was that you know so I told my I told my husband, my husband said we should send that away. I said if we send this girl away, she will die. The situation we saw her because she was for that two days old. She was pushing herself through the pain. The reason we even found out was that my husband called and was asking. I complained to my husband, I didn't like the way she used to handle the kids. So my husband called her and was asking her that is it that she doesn't like children? She now said no, that it's not that that she's having pains. Why are you having pains? She said her body is not used to our foods, you know rice and all that that she's used to house her food so well it didn't make sense but i was like okay some people can actually react like that and that was why my husband that night went out got her gested 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 so for antacid or whatever we thought that was the issue almost she still kept complaining like two days after or so he now took her to the hospital ran tests they ran peptic ulcer tests ran a lot of tests nothing only for her to open up to the lab sciences because the lab sciences were like, your tests are all clean. So let us know what the problem is so we know how can how we can help you. That's when she now opened up and told him not to tell us. He now told her that the treatment for what she did is very expensive and it's only us that if we decide to help her, she has to tell us the truth for us to be able to help her. That was how she now <laughs> opened up. So we have had experiences. So after this, my girl who was pregnant left, I made up my mind that I would just deal with come clean and go i don't want anybody that will leave i just wanted someone that will you know come clean the house and go i didn't want anybody leaving in the house again because i just felt we've dealt with enough you know and that was that but <sighs> the journey to get clean and go we have seen when they brought somebody for us i let this lady who was bringing this girl know that you know I needed someone who was experienced. I was very specific on that. I know that there are people that are willing to learn. I don't want the one that is willing to learn. I want someone who has experience. Because from my own experience of working with them, they don't like being told what to do. So for me, I prefer someone that already knows, has an idea, so that I can just guide you. It's easier that way. Because when you start telling them what to do, it causes another issue on its own. Your mom brought somebody who was a total novice and let me know the girl was a novice. In my mind, I'm like, why? But the girl is, she takes correction, she did one. Story for the girls. That one we come, wash wet clothes. When the clothes don't dry, maybe it rained or whatever. Instead of spreading them out or putting them somewhere and taking them out the next day, she would fold them and put bed sheets. We stay with bed sheets. So at the end of the day, you would just enter the room and notice this stench. 
that one long story my kids pants different things at some point i had to beg her to leave she walked two weeks i had to beg her to leave got somebody else come and go that one because that one was come and go but the arrangement was funny she would come stay the week then go for weekend when we ran test test came back pregnant like Anyway, that was it. At that point, I was done. And then, after some issues, we got somebody else. After I, that was it, you know. It's been quite an experience. So, after that particular girl, we got somebody else. That one stayed a while and she was very good as well. But that's what I said. When the good ones come, they don't stay long. There's always something. She was called from the village. Her mom had an accident. And according to the heart, the dad died from same accident a, a year before so she had to leave and then when she left we got someone else that's the one i just said you guys about who we on the toilet floor leave the toilet and we on the floor and the whole place will be stinking she won't even rinse it out anyway that has been our experience with helps so i hope you guys enjoyed this this course with me you guys can share your own experience in the comment section. Let me know how you guys are coping. Those of us, team, will we do it ourselves? Because I've had it up to here, honestly. So let me guys, you guys just let me know how it's going. And I hope you enjoyed this. Kindly leave a, leave a review for my nails, my DIY nails, <laughs> in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you watch at this point, you are the real MVP. I love you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.